Austin Cox Home Services teaming up with Del Marble Life to give away one of these Renai tankless water heaters, which is a $3,500 value. Now here's how you enter to win. Go to DelMarvaLife.com. On the left-hand side of the home page, you'll find the contest button. Click it, and that'll take you directly to the Austin Cox Home Services Facebook page. All you have to do is like the page and then fill out the entry form for the tankless water heater. Good luck. <laughs> It has become an all too familiar question. Where on Delmarva is Brian? One we can't seem to answer, yeah, apparently. Yeah, always <laughs> evades us. Well, he's given us two clues as to where he is so far. Here's what we know. The town was once a busy loading point for water commerce. And the town's motto is Garden of America. So where is he? What Ryan, you, where are you? Where, no, no, no. <laughs> no. Where am I? What, Aren't you guys going to guess here? Where am I? What do you think? I'm thinking Seaford. Seaford? Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, of, of all the clues that you've given us, I must say that today's were uh, specifically wonderful. And there was one thing that led me to, to my confident guess of Denton. Okay, so Seaford and Denton. All right, well, here's the big reveal. This afternoon, I'm actually standing right in front of the Caroline County Courthouse. And for anyone who knows where that is, it's located in Denton. So congratulations, Jimmy, you got it right. I am in Denton this afternoon. I'm actually gonna take a walk over here and have my photographer pan over. We're standing along Market Street, which is basically right in the heart of the downtown area. You can see some of the stores and the businesses located in this area. Now, to talk about the history of Denton, we first have to go back a little and talk about the history of the county which tells the story of how the town got here. In 1773, the Maryland legislature set forth an act that created Caroline County. It was the result of a petition from some people in Queen Anne's and Dorchester counties. They wanted to come up with a new county for, quote, the ease of convenience, whatever that means. The plan was to have the county seat located on the Choptank River on four acres of land. Now, the county seat was eventually called called Edenton, named after Sir Robert Eden, who was the governor of Maryland at the time. Now, after the revolution, Governor Eden left Maryland to go back to England, and at that point, the E was dropped, and in 1781, the town of Denton was established. Now, the location along the Choptank River would prove to be very vital. Denton quickly became a trade center for a fairly wide agricultural area. During this time, commerce between the Eastern Shore and Baltimore was mainly done by water, and the Denton Wharf was a busy loading point for ships, which was one of our clues. Now, as a matter of fact, the first bridge over the Top Tank River was built in Denton around 1811. It was a one way drawbridge and non county residents were charged to cross it. Obviously, the bridge that sits there now is not the original and you no longer have to pay to get across. Fast forward to present day. Denton was certainly has certainly grown. More than 4000 people live here and the town's motto Garden of America. Again, another one of those clues. The Top Tank River is still very important, especially for recreational use. You know, the town has also become an attraction with many stores and restaurants here in the downtown area, as we said, and it's also a major thoroughfare with routes 404, 16 and 328 going through or right around the Denton area. So odds are at some point if you've gone to the beach or traveled around Delmarva, you've passed through the Denton area. So Jimmy, my hat's off to you, even though I'm not wearing a hat. You guessed the right answer. What was Thank the clue that sort of gave it away that it was Denton? Well, first off, I just want to compliment you because you have dug up some of the most fascinating stuff about areas around here. It's, it's absolutely tremendous. So thank you for Thank all that. you. Thank you. So what was the clue? I cheated. <laughs> he cheated. He cheated. He cheated. No one likes cheaters. No, no. one likes cheaters. But I got you know it right. <laughs> he, he did get it right. He did get it. <laughs> it got you somewhere. We're going to have a discussion about this, Jimmy, when I get back. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, I'm going to be part of that discussion, too. Oops. Thanks, Brian. <laughs> well, up next on Dumb Marvel Live, you and I may have a fantasy role that we'd like to play in a movie every now and then, but so do some of our favorite stars. And we're going to hear whose shoes they'd like to step in for a day next. But first, here's a look at what's coming up in the news on First at Five on Fox 21 and later on WBOC News at 6. It was a small cheat. <laughs>